Foundry, and today we are going to teach you how to use the API Aquaspin. This is our Aquaspin device, and this is the disk. So uh, we are going to expect that this device will uh, show us the result for uh, for the ammonia, nitrate, nitrate, magnesium, calcium, alkalinity, and the pH. So let's see how it works. So first. We are going to get a water sample like what we did here. Then this is the disk. So let's open this. So this is the disk. Can you come closer, Joe? So as what you can see, there's a fill uh, mark here. So which means that very small dot there is the hole where you are going to fill the water so the water should be properly filled up to here so it's not allowed to to overfill this one otherwise the device uh, will not give you the right result so and you cannot also uh, underfill this uh, this area and the same thing uh, the device will not give you the same result okay so Let's get a water sample. So make sure. Close up. So let's put the needle here. Put up pressure on it so that water will not escape. But you can see it's now filling. So make sure there's no bubbles, okay? So going to do is to shake it so that to make sure that there's no bubbles so as what you can see there's a gap here that means you need to remove that gap so let's feel more so that's it so you can see there's no gap so make sure it's fully dry there's no waste water so that's it so there's no gap there's no bubbles it's what you can see and that's the proper way to fill uh, the water sample so what we're going to do now let's put the disc inside then let's put the cover then close then so since this device I connected it to the laptop so what we are going to do we are going to control this device to uh, this monitor okay so, so what you can see I set it to the location coral tank then I choose salt water there's some option here where you can choose fresh water fresh water the salt water then meter check this this meter check this is actually for calibration so what we are going to do now is to test the salt water so let's start then it will start to blink that means it's spinning now so as what you can see this is the indicator if this green uh, color will fully uh, fill this uh, white area here it means it's finished testing the water so as what you can see this is our previous test in the other tank so this is how it shows this is how it's supposed to be you know it presented what you can see this is the new reading now so the pH is 8.1 phosphate is a bit high this is 2.6 nitrite is 0 that means it's very good nitrate is 8 which is acceptable then ammonia uh, 0 alkalinity is 200 ppm magnesium is 1 to, uh, 1 to 7 8 which is also good and calcium is 408 so that's mean this coral tray here has a perfect level of uh, reef foundation you know? they need this uh, trace element for uh, calcification so the only problem here is what we can see is the phosphate so this uh, level is too high for the phosphate the ideal level for the phosphate should be only 0 0.01 to 0 0.03 so that's it so hope you 
learned from from this uh, video <laughs> and uh, only 30 uh, to introduce to you the API Aquaspin. So thank you so much.